Hey everybody, it's three guys with three things, and Mike, you are up. Well, Larry, last year when the Packers and the Rams met in the playoffs, a big difference maker for the Packers was the running game. 188 rushing yards in that playoff contest, but they accomplished that against an Aaron Donald Defensive Player of the Year who was compromised, wasn't 100%. And the Rams also didn't have Von Miller on the edge, who they have now. So this is going to be a different type of matchup. This Packers offensive line, which is also dealing with a change with Yash Nyman now at left tackle against this Rams defensive front, is really the matchup of the ball game. And Wes, what is your thing? My thing is Devontae Adams, and he's seven years into this thing, but it was fascinating to listen to him during his press conference on Wednesday talking about how he actually built out his film room, what used to be his video game room, into his actual film room now. He's like turned it into his own office, and when you watch him out there, he's such a tactician, the way he runs routes, everything he does at the receiver position, but he's still looking for ways to get better, and when you look at a guy now that in this part of his career is still ascending, that's the stuff you point towards, and it really sets the example for this room. Guys, I want to talk about Yash Nyman. Elton Jenkins gets hurt. Yash comes out, very difficult situation. Game in the balance, lots of crowd noise. Second and 15, it's going to be a pass. And he is facing Everson Griffin. Now, I know nothing about his off-the-field situation, but on the field, he is still a stud duck pass rusher. So, on the play, very first play, second and 15, Yash sets up beautifully. Griffin comes at him with a fake spin move, kind of exotic stuff. Thinks he's going to get the young fella, but Yash plays it perfectly. Terrific hands, terrific feet, and it was the start of a wonderful 10-play stint for young Yash Nyman. And whatever lies ahead for him, he is more than ready for. And that is three guys with three things. Happy Thanksgiving.